Hey guys, we're back with learning how to W key number two, where I show you my wins and losses in Solar Arena and break them down and tell you guys why there were wins or losses. I'm a top 300 Fortnite player in NA East with a lot of competitive experience over the years. I believe I have a lot of information that I can pass on to everyone watching this video. So let's get into it fast so we can learn something new. Okay, so this fight displays something really cool, which is simply taking advantage of the fact that your opponent doesn't have their pump ready usually because they have already shot their pump. So the sequence goes as follows. I'm playing defense, I have a weak wall, which I suspect the enemy will pump and try to take for themselves. There are two outcomes that happen when they try this, right? Number one, I get the wall, and then I play just like I did in this fight. But in the other case, where they get the wall, I have the cone in my box to flip so I can block their follow-up shots, and then edit out to expand or rebox, right? So either way, the outcome is good for me. Anyways, I end up getting the wall, Right? But this is a perfect opportunity for me to dry peek or make a wide edit. Why is that? Right? There's no possible way for my opponent to shoot me back because they've already just shot. So I need to make a wide edit and do this fast to get my free shot back. After, I'm going to reset and hold my wall because I know their shot is coming. After the next shot comes, I re-edit and then immediately go for the full box into a final shot to win the fight. So, in this next fight, I have height advantage over my opponent, I get a free shot to start the fight off, I miss some edits, but notice this pump that I do here. This pump allows me to get the wall with just one pickaxe. I'm also not worried about this first edit that I made, because I saw the opponent taking minis just before I took the wall. He shouldn't be able to shoot me back if I'm fast enough here, so I don't necessarily have to make a right hand peek. But most importantly, I reset and hold the wall after the first shot, right? Because I'm trying to predict their follow up shot. It doesn't come, so I end the fight with a simple peanut butter edit. In this fight, I notice the opponent running towards me, so I claim as many pieces as possible and just wait. Notice this little pause here. I observe what's happening, right? I'm taking my time and looking at what he's doing. I see the opponent blueprint and immediately can tell that this is a safe time to edit. I get a free shot of damage. I hit him pretty hard, actually, here. And then it's easy. It's super easy. I just need to pressure as hard as possible and make sure that he doesn't get any heals off. I exploit in his box since I know he's pretty low HP and end the fight. The alternative way to like do good here is just to take the wall and not actually jump in because I could get one pumped if I jump in like this. Um, so another alternative is to simply just take the wall and end the fight that way. Here's a fight that I took that shows how you can keep track of whether your opponent is aware of you or not. After I get the initial 90 damage with my AR and then run him over with the car, I have a huge HP advantage. But the key thing here is that I notice he's not even looking in my direction when I start breaking his wall. This tells me that I don't need to replace the wall, I can simply break it and walk through. He is not holding this wall whatsoever. Here's a fight where I have height and I made a peace control play, seeing that the enemy is moving in this direction. However, I do not like how I played this fight. Let's break this down, right? When I made this peace control play, I'm very vulnerable to a better player, perhaps. A better player than this enemy would have had better awareness and have his shotgun out and looking at me already. I have no right hand peek here when I made this peace control play. A better enemy would simply shoot me when I was exposed after this edit, and then place a wall to prevent any tradebacks. To fix this, I need to either stand more to the left, or place a wall into a window edit into a jump shot, right? Personally, I like the first option better since it's less complicated, it's easier to execute, and I can just move a little bit to the left, have half my body just completely covered, and get the benefit of a right hand peek. Here's an example of my aim bailing me out completely, but I think I should have played this fight much differently. Right? Considering how close I was to dying. I need to actually expand out more, get my heals off. Look at how many mats I have and how many heals I have. I have no reason to take this engagement right here. I need to make multiple metal boxes and attempt to heal up before I take the fight. My aim bailed me out of this fight, but it doesn't mean I have to take this engagement, right? Because what if I hit a 150 or a 170? Then I just lose the fight because of how low I am. So it's so much better to just expand out and, and make sure I heal up before I take the engagement. In this fight, I have very little mats, and I realize that I can replace this one wall with the one build that I have. But after I get the wall, I need to get in and end the fight now. If the enemy makes another box successfully, I'm finished, right? So I need to play aggressive here and end the fight ASAP. And that's exactly what happens. This fight, which is a 1v1v1 scenario, is a good example of being aware of where enemy positions are and using third-person perspective to look around corners slowly and not just running blindly around into enemies, right? Because I can't just make assumptions where they are. I need to slowly look around and sort of get a good idea of where they could possibly be and, and not make any assumptions. Notice how I play towards the edge and never put myself in a position to get pinched by the both of them. 
I see the first enemy in my third person camera and get a nice peek to finish him off. Again, I'm staying towards the edges of this whole build cluster that exists here because of the 1v1v1 scenario. I don't want to just be in the middle, right? I purposely crouch walk so the enemy doesn't know where I am, right? He can't hear me, but I have a good general sense myself of where he is. I take this cone and fully peace control the box under and win the last fight. Here's a quick reminder of why you shouldn't 50-50 without a good reason. A really good reason. Here's a fight that teaches you the power of using your AR to take walls instead of your pickaxe. It extends the range of your wall taking abilities. Easy way to win fights, especially ARing walls when you're falling down. The opponents don't expect it. Here's a quick fight showcasing some simple piece control. Shooting and placing a wall super fast is key, right? Right after another. To start off the chain of piece control options you have once you own that wall. Here's an example of a fight where I messed up, but got bailed out because of my aim. Let's talk about the mistake. In a previous video of mine, How to W Key Like No Really, I talk about the importance of editing away from your enemy. Go watch that video if you truly want to understand this in full detail, but to summarize it, it's simply editing on the side further away from your opponent so that you have some cover when the edit is made. In this fight, my opponent was on the right, yet I still edited towards the right instead of editing it towards the left. I took a free hit because the enemy was looking at me with their shotgun. And then on top of that, I made the mistake of trying to shoot to take the wall that the enemy happened to be holding. And then I got hit one more time. I should 100% lost this fight. My aim ended up winning me the fight in the end, but the decisions and the edit choices during this fight were very, very poor. If the only reason you win a fight is because of your aim, then you can definitely improve a lot on your decision making. Here's one more fight where we can learn from. It teaches me the importance of edit choices and crosshair placement after you make an edit. My edit choice on this last wall was not ideal, right? I would prefer to do the top row edit here to make sure that resetting is extremely easy for myself in the future. But also I would have some cover, right? It would not be a super wide open edit. Secondly, I didn't place a cone inside the box. I tried to, but I failed mechanically. I didn't actually time the buttons correctly. And my crosshair placement after the fact wasn't the best. So I missed the first shot. Right? I ended up winning the fight and cleaning up, but the execution of this fight could be so, so much better and just clean this fight up in a way cleaner manner.